Hello, welcome to American Baker in Germany. I'm Michelle, and today we are making a tutorial. If you're interested in cake decorating and want to work with fondant, these are the tools that you need. So let's get started. First off, a rubber spatula. Why, you ask? Well, you want to work with fondant, you have to work with buttercream or chocolate ganache or something similar. There's no getting around it. And the best way to scrape the buttercream off the sides of the bowl is to use a rubber spatula. Another buttercream related tool, an offset spatula. An offset spatula helps you to smooth your buttercream on the cake really well. If you don't have smooth buttercream underneath it, then your fondant won't be smooth either. A turntable, a cake decorator's best friend. This will help you smooth your fondant onto the cake and get your decorations even. A fondant rolling pin. This is a long, thick piece of plastic. Why not a regular rolling pin? Most rolling pins are made of wood, which has a wood grain texture on it. Fondant picks up texture super easily and it will pick up the texture of a wooden rolling pin. This kind of rolling pin takes some practice to learn how to use, but it's not that difficult. A silicone mat. If you don't have one, you can always put down powdered sugar or cornstarch, but then you have to clean it back off the fondant after you're done. Most of the time when I use a silicone mat, I don't need anything at all to keep my fondant from sticking. Gel food coloring. Even if you buy colored fondant, it will often happen that the color isn't quite right for what you need. If you want to color your fondant, you will need gel food coloring. Liquid food coloring will make the fondant extremely sticky and won't color it very well. And powdered colors won't mix with the fondant properly. Gel food coloring is the only way to go. A good set of circle cutters. There are a million cutters out there, but anyone who has ever worked with fondant has used circle cutters at one point. Circles are very difficult to get freehand, and a set of cutters isn't that hard to find or expensive, so it's definitely worth it. This one might be obvious, but a sturdy, sharp paring knife. I cut fondant all the time. I trim it to the edge of the cake. I use a knife constantly, absolutely essential. A fondant smoother. This is just a smooth piece of plastic that helps you get the flat sides of your fondant cakes. Very helpful. Edible glue or something similar. Fondant does not stick to itself willingly. To get two pieces of fondant to stick together, you either need edible glue or a bit of water. How would you put that edible glue on the fondant without a paintbrush? Now you need to buy a new set of paint brushes and only use them for cakes. You don't want tiny traces of regular paint to end up on your cake. A paint palette. If you ever want to paint on your fondant cakes, then you will need a cheap paint palette. Once again, only use it for cake decorating. I mix food coloring with a clear food grade alcohol to make an edible paint. As the paint dries, the alcohol evaporates and it becomes non-alcoholic. Tylo powder, also known as CMC. If you want your fondant to be stiff and defy gravity a bit, you can add a bit of this to your fondant and it will dry harder and be stiffer. Some shape cutters. Which ones are up to you? But some standard shapes will be very helpful. A few suggestions, hearts, stars, flowers, and I will throw in leaves. I use these all the time. Speaking of cutters, a good set of alphabet cutters with numbers. Writing names and dates and ages is very common and is very difficult to do by hand. At least one small set of letters will be invaluable. Letters take up more space than you think they do, so look for a set as small as you can find it. A set of sculpting tools. These are very helpful if you ever want to sculpt anything at all. It can also help you add texture to flat fondant. I use these all the time. This is not a complete list as there are a lot of fondant tools, but these are what I would consider essential. If there's anything I didn't mention that you consider essential, let me know in the comments below. For more cakes and tutorials, visit our website at AmericanBakerInGermany.com. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe for more tutorials.